all began in San Diego. To Wind and Sea in La Jolla, and um, we made it just in time to see the sunset. That's kind of one of the moments when I knew that the store was going to be special. It was just like kicking it off with style. Candy makes you dandy. I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. Hello Clouds. The inspiration for a lot of this album came while I was on the road touring my last album and I just knew that I wanted to explore this whole idea and concept of creativity and imagination. I feel like anytime you're kind of like looking up at the clouds dreaming or looking down out of an airplane window dreaming, it's like one of those inkblot tests. Like, you know, everybody sees something different in the clouds. It's kind of like the vibe I was going for with the music. Hopefully it's going to mean something different to each person. Going. We discovered it today, obviously. It's probably nothing new to the native Los Angeler. Los Angeles is always a, 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 a treat. It's always so much fun coming down to play in LA. And one of my really good friends was actually doing an art exhibit, one of my favorite artists, Pete Gronquist. I just bought all of them. And you can wind up so nice. This is how I feel every day. I get to sit next to him on the plane. I get to wake up next to him in bed. And when we're at our address back home in San Francisco. For me, it's really difficult because I am a perfectionist when it comes to my music, particularly with the production, not just like the songwriting aspect of it. I can have an idea that I really like, but if the mix down isn't right or it doesn't sound great loud, then you know I don't really want to share it yet. I don't really want it to see the light of day. Just think, if you play your cards right, kiddo, someday this could all be yours. All of it. All yours.